Hey everybody, Justin from Lake Murray Aerial again, and today we're going to be doing our test of the Multistar Elite 4006 740 kV motors. These guys right here. And as you can see, our test platform is going to be a Taro 680 Pro. Um, I weighed this uh, hex this morning, and all up weight just over 4,000 grams. For batteries, we're going to be using two 8 amp hour uh, multi-star batteries in parallel so a total of 16 amp hours uh, and these are 4S batteries and uh, again since they're the multi-star line of batteries these are only 10C but still 160 amp uh, total output more than enough for this platform uh, for props we got 13 inch uh, multi-star woods and uh, these are 4.4 inches of pitch so 1344 multi-star uh, propellers so what we're going to do for this test is uh, we're going to take the hex outside, I'm going to put it in a GPS hover, and uh, we're going to record the total length of uh, hover time, and also I'm going to use our uh, infrared thermometer here to get uh, total motor temperature after uh, we land above baseline. Uh, so let's go ahead and go outside and put these things to the test. Alright, so we're outside, and hex is powered up, and we have GPS lock. And one thing I forgot to mention was I'm going to let this thing hover for uh, 10 minutes. And we're going to uh, go ahead and find out how much uh, draw we've actually had off the batteries in addition to uh, getting the temperature and all that. Uh, so let's get a baseline temp right now. And don't know if you can see that, but it says 79.7 degrees. Yep, yeah, 79.6. Alright, so we'll go with that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up. Alright, see him spinning. Sorry about this, only got two hands. Alright, sounds good, we're going to put it up. All right, so we're a few minutes into the hover test. You can see you're hovering nice and smooth. Sounds good. Got a little bit of wind, but not too much today. So it's pretty solid. Total flight time was 10 minutes and uh, about 3 seconds. And we're going to go ahead and get motor temperature. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but 74 degrees. So <laughs> they're literally the exact same temperature as when I took off. Uh, they're not warm at all. And hovered smooth throughout the whole thing. Sounded great. Uh, one thing I love about these motors is when you spin them up and then... Uh, you know, disarm the motors, uh, they all spin down at the same time. All right, there's no, uh, you know, like lazy motor indicating maybe a bad bearing or something. Um, so we'll go inside, find out the total draw off the batteries, and see how long, uh, or how much battery it takes to hover for 10 minutes. All right, so we're back inside, and I have recharged both batteries, and now we can go and take a look at uh, the data we got. All right, so our all-up weight for this test was 4,037 grams. All right, it was actually 8.9 pounds. Google gives me that uh, when I translate from pounds into grams. All right, our starting voltage was obviously a four cell battery, so 16.8 volts, 4.2 volts a cell. Um, our loaded voltage, all right, so as we're coming down into land, uh, IOSD was giving me this. Uh, so batteries had 14.9 volts or 3.7 volts a cell. Uh, once we landed, so no load voltage. 15.5 uh, volts or 3.875 volts per cell. Alright, uh, like we saw in the video with the uh, infrared thermometer, temp at takeoff was 79 degrees and uh, temp at landing was 74 degrees in Fahrenheit. Uh, so they did not heat up at all, all right, in that 10 minute hover test. Uh, flight time was 10 minutes again and this is how much uh, milliamp hours we put back into both batteries combined. All right. So 6,000 
494 milliamp hours were recharged into both batteries. All right, so for our 10 minute hover test, we used a total of 40.6% of the capacity of those uh, 16 amp hour combined four cell multi-star batteries. Um, that's pretty impressive to me. Uh, so good flight times considering the weight we're dealing with here. And uh, you know, considering these motors you know, ran, <laughs> they did not heat up at all um, carrying that load. Uh, I have confidence that they can carry uh, considerable additional payload uh, based on this performance. And yeah, I know it's it's just a hover test. It wasn't uh, mixed flight time. Um, but bottom line, these are good numbers and the motors perform. Um, my Taro 4006 motors doing the same test uh, would have came down hot, no doubt about it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give the Multistar Elite 4006 740 KVs five crowns on Hobby King. Uh, I think they're great motors and at like, you know, 36 bucks or two bucks, whatever, whatever they cost, I forget, but uh, I think they're a great deal. So I'm going to go put my review up there now. Hope this uh, video helps someone pick some good motors. I think the elites are really good. Thanks for watching.